Do you know about the current fertilizer crisis is going on around the globe? Well, I'm not talking about the petrochemicals that are being raised up in prices at the moment, even though that's a big one. What I'm talking about is what they've been selling you and what you believe is in the products that you're putting out. Now, did you know that a lot of these fertilizers aren't policed? Yes, it's very true, very sad, and what can you do about it? Well, firstly, chicken manure. It's everywhere, it's all through all our fertilizers. We buy chicken pellets, chicken fertilizer this, chicken fertilizer that, chicken fertilizer mixed with this, mixed with that. Guess what? There's no policing for it, unless you buy 100% certified organic. What you could be buying in your fertilizers, if you're not buying the certified organic, is heavy metals going through the material. You see, they mix in all this like sawdust and different things, and so whatever's in that sawdust can also end up in your chicken pellets. Then you're throwing it out into the garden, you're getting good growth, but you could possibly be poisoning your soil. Now that is scary thought, isn't it? And believe you me, they're not testing this. It's not regulated in any way. Now, they could be doing this with cow manure as well. I'm finding that the cow manure that they're selling at the shop, I'm checking it out, that you read the label, it says also there's sawdust and different wood chip and stuff like that put in there. What they're doing is they're cutting back on the costs, giving you a less valuable product. You're paying more because shipping's going up and you could be possibly, now, not all of them, but you could be possibly poisoning your system, poisoning your soil. Who knows, it could have uh, lead in it, could have arsenic in it, could have any different type of heavy metal unless it's policed and regulated, right? So I just wanted to let you know that, that it is a bit of a problem. And as fertilizers skyrocket up in price because of the war in Ukraine, now petrochemicals, a lot of them are made from the natural gas and uh, a lot of energy made from, you know, all these petrol products and things like that. So, whoa, synthetic chemicals, prices are going up again. So what's that gonna do? Well, the greedy guys that are making all these other fertilizers as well, because they're gonna ship it around and use all this energy and everything, they're putting their prices up too. So 20 to 30% rise in fertilizer. I hear that actually in some petrochemicals, it's gone up 300% some areas now. I don't know about that because I don't buy petrochemicals in bulk. I actually stumbled across a product that I've been using 30 years ago. Uh, for about 10 years I used it on my micro farm, Organic Life. It's a certified product. Now, I'm not sponsored to pay or anything by these guys. Uh, I just did some research on it because I wasn't happy with what I was getting. I had to buy some petrochemical potting mix a while ago. You know, that's okay in the pots and things, but I never let it get in the ground in any way. And I just, that doesn't, that bothers me. You know what I mean? Like, I want my money to go towards the organic life systems. So, you know, the life, putting life back into the soil. And so you can get in those blends, you know, they have rock minerals, you know, there'll also be, there'll be chicken manure, cow manure, mushroom, diff all different types of stuff, rock dust, and, and they're blending it all together and they're selling you a superior product. So when you're putting it out onto your land or onto your garden or onto your vegetables, however you're doing in your pot plants, you are actually healing, feeding, and restoring the land around you. Because as we're taking our plants away and growing our gardens, if we're not composting efficiently or we're starting a new garden, we need to have these inputs going in until eventually we're composting it all and the inputs that we're putting in are getting fed through the system and staying in the garden. That's why I'm saying it's always getting better and better and better all the time because we keep everything, all the inputs coming from outside into here. So I'm gonna be spreading around some of this organic life at my place and I'm stoked to be using it. But I wanted to share with you about that, the, the crisis. And I want you to know that you need to really check thoroughly on what you're buying. If you can afford organic, like that was only $25 for a 25 litre bag. And believe you me, it's probably worth 30 or 40% more than that other crap where they're putting really bad stuff in and it's not policed. So if you knew anything like that, or you know anything more about this situation, that's been going on for years and years. Let us know in the comments box down below. Let me know your thoughts. Sorry to shock you with that, but this is number three. 
video too, I'm worried. And if you haven't seen the whole series, there's a link up there and uh, you can check it out and uh, there'll be like videos coming out uh, probably once a week on the I'm Worried series. So have a great day, happy everything, and we'll see you in the next video real soon. Sorry, I said happy everything at the end. Am I making you happy? Oh, I hope so. Keep watching the vlogs, guys. Bye for now.